Hey everyone, Levi here. Um, I just want to say thank you for watching. This is one of my first videos on my channel, Epilepsy and Me. I'm hoping to connect with someone, anyone who is affected by epilepsy, whether you're diagnosed or just have plain connection, or even more, you're just interested in uh, the daily challenges of someone who has epilepsy. Thank you for watching. Now, um, to go a little deeper, um, these videos aren't gonna connect with everyone perfectly. Um, epilepsy is a unique disability in itself, and each person is unique. So the combination of that makes it impossible for these videos to be completely perfectly matched. So hopefully you can pick apart uh, certain, certain portions, certain themes that connect with you and it can have a positive impact. Now, um, these aren't always gonna be positive. There's gonna be some negative, but uh, the lives of those affected by epilepsy isn't all that terrible. So showing the highs and lows, hopefully again, I can just show you the challenges along with have a positive spin on it and give you a better outlook um, on your daily life um, as I've truly uh, began looking more in a positive direction myself. Now, with that being said, uh, let's get down to business. Let's talk. Um, the two types of seizures that I have, I'm gonna have to read back to notes every once in a while. So bear with me, especially being one of my first videos. Um, the seizures that I have are two separate ones, refractory generalized non-conclusive seizures and intractable complex partial seizures. Um, this is also known as focal impaired awareness seizures. Um, you know, the cause of this, um, I have what is called a periventricular heterotopia. Um, to make this as simple as possible for those that uh, don't have a very strong knowledge of how the brain works, uh, there's two different types of brain matter, gray matter and white matter. Now, during development, some of that gray matter didn't quite make it to that outer layer. Um, I have what would be about a golf ball size amount of gray matter on the inner left side of my brain. And to add to that, on the right side, I have gray matter that's somewhat peppered across uh, the inner part of the brain. Um, now, that pretty much makes seizure um, uh, what would be happening on a regular basis. The doctors are surprised I'm not having seizures constantly. Um, now, surgery wasn't an option. I mean, it's never the option to begin with. Um, but due to the fact that it's peppered along that right side of the brain, um, there'd be more damage than, I guess, a positive uh, effect on it. Um, now, trying to control this, I, I'm on four different medications right now. Um, hopefully, one of those, if not a couple, can be, I guess, dropped. Four is a lot to take on a regular basis. Um, as well, I have a VNS implant that I've had for about uh, a year and a half now. Um, the adjustments to the medication along with the VNS hopefully uh, continue to put my daily life in a positive direction. But um, there's so many different types of medication. There's so many different variations to the amount of medication you can take or the amount of times you can take it on a daily basis along with the variations of uh, the VNS. So um, hopefully I can find uh, the correct equation and get this uh, more tidied up and hopefully 100% controlled. Now, with these seizures, the triggers for them, um, the big one for me is stress. Um, a smaller one would be um, bad sleep, and an obvious one is lack of medication. Um, the disappointing part of the, med the medication aspect of this, a lot of the newer medications have 100 hour layover times. For me, um, if I miss medication by more than an hour or two, I will have a seizure later in the day. So um, I have multiple alarms to make sure this doesn't happen. Now, the stress one being the major trigger, um, that's what I'm trying to wrangle in for the most part. Um, reading books, just a self-improvement and being able to control thoughts and stress altogether. Um, hopefully, again, tidy this up as well and help uh, control this. Um, now, that's the negative foundation of being diagnosed with epilepsy, uh, but there is a positive side, um, and I guess I'll go on with that. I am 29, a father of a four-year-old. Um, she is the love of my life at this point in time and has a major 
impact on how I look at life in a positive way. Um, I enjoy health and fitness, and this includes cooking, which has a positive aspect and effect on being diagnosed with epilepsy, trying to be healthy as possible. Um, I enjoy outdoor activities along with watching movies. I definitely spend a lot of time on IMDb um, and Netflix as well. Uh, I graduated from the University of Montana, double majoring in marketing and management, minor in media arts, uh, which helps with making these videos, uh, and a certificate in entertainment management. Um, a decent look on the resume that just isn't being worked right now, so hopefully when this epilepsy stops hitting me the hardest, um, I can put that into work. Um, now, these videos aren't going to be all negative, but uh, with having epilepsy, it's going to show the challenges. I will try to put a positive spin on all of this to have a positive impact on those affected, especially those that are first starting out, um, who are being hit the hardest, even if they've had epilepsy for a while, or those affected um, just are at a wit's end, or again, just those that want to know more. Wrapping all of this up, um, I just want to say how much I appreciate those who have supported me through the years. Um, I live in a very uh, supportive community, um, but the most supportive has been my family, uh, specifically my parents. They've been with me since the beginning, and uh, more importantly through the last couple of years where this epilepsy has hit me the hardest. So they have carried me and really kept putting me in a positive direction. As much as I kept kind of panning off a little bit, they've kept my focus, and I can't say how grateful I am of that. Um, now, again, these videos are made to have a positive impact, but they're made to make you understand the daily challenges and how to control them. Uh, no one can promise that your epilepsy is going to be 100% controlled, that you will be 100% positive, um, or that you'll 100% understand um, what epilepsy does to your daily life. Uh, but the sooner that you accept it, the better your daily life will become as a whole. So uh, become positive. You can do this.